Hello everyone and welcome back to BlenderDiplom.com. I'm Gottfried Hofmann and let's see now what's happened in the latest week of Blender 2.8 development. The first thing I'd like to show you is, has to do with animation. So let's insert a keyframe on our default cube. Now let me move to another frame and you see now that the property is green, which means somewhere here is a keyframe. And when I move this cube now, it becomes orange, which means somewhere on this channel, there is a keyframe, but on this very frame, the property has been changed. So if I click now somewhere else, you see it jumps back because yeah, there was a keyframe on this channel. And so if I move this and it becomes orange, that also means, well, I should set a keyframe, otherwise this, I will lose this change. So let me insert a keyframe now and here we have our animation. So very, very handy, this new change here. And another one that's really, really useful is here in the output settings. And in case you have more than one machine or a render farm, here in metadata, there is a new checkbox for you. It reads host name. And if you turn this on, it will also write the name of the machine a frame has been rendered on into the metadata. That's one of the boxes I'm definitely going to check in the future. And up here in the editor for shading, in the shading workspace, down here, and uh, when you have the node editor set to material mode, in the properties, that's behind this plus here, or when hitting the N key, now we also have the settings of the material. Previously, those were only available in the material tab of the properties editor, down here, settings. And that of course meant that you couldn't do everything regarding a material inside the node editor. Now you can. So if you prefer to work like this, for example, totally possible you have all the settings available now. The last thing I'd like to show you is in the grease pencil. So let's create a new 2D animation. And here for the grease pencil um, basic objects, we have a new one that is called arc. And well, left click and drag, and you got an arc. And shift left click and drag, and you get an arc that's also a perfect quarter of a circle. So that's it regarding the latest news in Blender 2.8 development. I got a, in the description, I got a link to the official release notes where you can read up also about the more technical things that have happened. And in the link, there's also a link in the description to the Blender 2.8 beta builds on the build bot, which means, of course, you can try all of this at home and uh, you sh totally should do so. Blender 2.8 is awesome. And if you like this video, please like it and share it. And if you want to know more about Blender 2.8, please subscribe to this channel. And as always, do try this at home and have fun.